If you're a virtual assistant or you're looking to become one, you should know that knowledge about different virtual assistant tools can help make your job easier. In this video, I'm going to break down a number of free virtual assistant tools in different categories that can help you excel at being a VA. So let's get started. So the first tool we're going to talk about is Canva. If you want to work as a virtual assistant, this is one of the tools you should definitely get your hands on. It has a free version and a paid version. Within the free version, you can definitely learn a couple of tips and tricks on how to design from, for almost everything from social media graphics. You can even edit videos in Canva. You can even create your website portfolio in Canva. Mine is in Canva, Instagram posts. Uh, brocures, you can edit even your photos in Canva. Canva is one of those design tools that virtual assistants should definitely learn because you're going to be, if you're going to be working with service based entrepreneurs, most of them already have pre made templates in Canva and I would like for you to design graphics in, within those templates. So you need to have an understanding of how Canva works, how do you navigate the platform, and that's where YouTube comes in. YouTube will help you because there are a number of creators on. On YouTube who have shared like this is how you can navigate Canva this is how you can design this particular graphics like they will teach you all the tips and tricks on how to get good at Canva so definitely definitely check out Canva subscribe sign up for their free version you will learn a lot and this will help you even as you build your virtual assistant business because remember as a virtual assistant you are a service-based entrepreneur so canva will help you to show up professionally with the kinds of graphics that you post on your instagram even with building your portfolio all of that can be done in canva even in the free version so check out canva today Now, a tool that can help you with tracking your time as a virtual assistant is Togo. Togo is that tool when it comes to helping you track your time because it has unlimited time tracking. And as a VA, you need this, especially when you're starting out, you don't have all these coins, please. You may not sign up for the premium version, but with the free version, you have unlimited time tracking, unlimited projects and clients and tags. So if you're working with five clients, let's say Joan, Mary, Juanita, and all of them have different projects, you can track that within Togo. So, because if you're getting paid by the hour and Joanne is paying you maybe $15 per hour, you need to track her time for her particular project so that at the end of the month or whenever you share your invoice, you can even attach the report and say, if I was doing this particular task, this is how much time it took me and this is why I've billed you for these particular hours. So that's how you can definitely use Togo to ensure that you're in the loop, you're getting paid and you're not spending a lot of time on a particular task. And also if a client is working with you, let's say for four hours in a week, you have to work within that particular time frame. And if you tend to go above in terms of the hours, you can let the client know like say, hey, this particular task took me five hours and I've tracked it in Togo and this is why it took me that 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 long. So Togo is that too, the free version. I have been using the free version for the longest before I moved to uh, Indie, the tool that I use to encompass everything that holds everything in regards to my virtual assistant business. But when I was in the trenches, when I had started out, it was that tool for me because of their free pri free free version in terms of pricing and also unlimited time tracking so check it out today another tool that will help you stay in the loop when it comes to managing your time is world time buddy world time buddy helps you compare your time across different time zones so for instance you have a client who is working maybe in atlanta and their time zone is est and they say joy i would like to meet you at 9 a.m est you can come into world time buddy type in that particular time zone in here EST, I'd already shared that, but let's do that again. Come on here, put in EST time zone, and then say, okay, for me, that is 4 p.m. Because I'm in Kampala, I'm in Uganda, I'm in East African time zone. If you're in West African time zone, wherever you're in the world, you just put in your particular time zone and it will do the same for you. So it's 4 p.m. I should mark that particular time down on my calendar or send them a Google invite or say, hey, you can, I'm, I'm available. You can send me an invite. I'm free at that particular time. This will help you a lot. So you don't miss meetings. When I started out as a virtual assistant, guys, I was missing meetings and it's not good. It's very, very unprofessional. But with World Time Buddy, you can definitely stay in the loop. You won't miss any meetings at all. And also you work within your client's particular time zone. For me, I work ESD time zone. And your clients will always communicate to you in, the, in, your, in, in their time zone. They'll say, hey, Joy, let's meet at three. Let's meet at four. 
if you don't have an, a tool or an app that's able to convert the time very fast for you, you can be a bit confused. But with Well Time Buddy, you can definitely stay in the loop of everything. So check it out today. Now, when it comes to scheduling appointments, Calendly is that tool. I have used Calendly for the longest. When I started out as a virtual assistant, the first tool I had to pick up was Calendly because I wanted to schedule appointments with clients. And I was like, how am I going to do that? And then I figured out, oh, there's Calendly. Wow. I can actually link Calendly to my Zoom. And so you share a meeting link for a particular event and then boom, someone will book time on your calendar and a particular Zoom link will be created. It does have a free version, but it's only limited to one event type. However, this is one of the tools I recommend. If you have money in your virtual assistant business or as a virtual assistant, just upgrade maybe for like $10 or $16, whatever you want. But I definitely recommend Calendly because with Calendly, if you have different clients that you're working with as a freelancer, for me, I'm working as a virtual assistant. I'm also working as a podcast manager. I'm also working in the comm space. Those are different events. And if I want to book time uh, with a particular client who I support as a virtual assistant, I share with them that link. So it has helped me a lot. You should definitely check out Calendly. It's a very, very good tool. I know that Google does have a scheduling tool right now within the Google suite, and you can check it out as well. However, Calendly has and will always be one of the best scheduling appointment tools. All right. Now, you know what they say, you know what they say, communication is key. Well, as a virtual assistant, you need to find ways to communicate with your clients. And some of them may recommend Voxer. Or if they don't recommend Voxer, you can make the recommendation for them. So come on here, sign up for Voxer. Voxer is one of those tools that is very fun to use. It works just like a walkie-talkie. Remember when we were young, we used to have those walkie-talkies? You just put here and say, hey, I'm here, blah, blah, where are you? Yeah, Voxer works just like that. It sends the voice notes not immediately and it even makes that walkie-talkie sound so check out Voxer today sign up for it it has a free version play around tell your family and friends I'm trying out this app would you like for for me to Voxer you sign up for Voxer let's try this out and once you have an understanding of how it works when a client recommends it you're like you know what hmm, we can use Voxer you don't feel like this is a very very big tool out there most of these tools are very easy to use but when we don't know how to use them we feel like oh my god this is very oblivious to me. How am I going to navigate this particular tool? But Voxa, Voxa is that tool. Very fun to use. So check out Voxa today. Now, in my opinion, Slack is the Jesus of all communication tools. Like it's at the top. It's been around for a very long while and it's used by remote teams and businesses around the world. As a virtual assistant, I'm very sure you'll interface with Slack. It's like the professional version of WhatsApp or Telegram. So think about it like that. Like you can create channels, you can tag someone, mention someone, say, a joy, I'm looking for this particular thing. How can I find it within our Google Drive or whatever? You can message, you can create little meetings that are called huddles. You can even share clips. You can do project management work within Slack. You can share files. Like it's a very, very great communication tool. And as a VA, most times in job descriptions, they will mention we're looking to work with somebody who has an understanding of Slack. And that's where you come in because guess what? You've already signed up for the free version and you're going to interact with the tool and see how it operates. So sign up for Slack today because as a virtual assistant, I'm very sure you're going to come across this tool. Now, another tool you should check out as a virtual assistant is Airtable. In my understanding, Airtable gives off a bit of spreadsheet vibes. Those spreadsheets like in Excel or Google Sheets, yes, it kind of looks like that. However, it is used as a database. Business owners use it to organize their tasks. They use it as a content calendar. I have used it a lot when I was starting out to create content for my virtual assistant business, even for my clients. So what you can do is sign up for Airtable today. It has a free version that will limit you to just a number of bases. They call them bases in Airtable. And you can definitely create templates that you can replicate. If you're hired as a virtual assistant to create content, let me tell you, Airtable is, is the tool for you. So check it out today. Play around. 
it's very very interesting to use like there are even already like pre-made templates that you can use in there just like in canva but it's very very good it's such an exciting tool and you can pair around with the colors as you can see here it will help you to visualize a lot of things it's very very good a tool that can help you with contract management as a virtual assistant is Dropbox Sign. I used it a lot before I moved over to Indie, which we're going to talk about next with grabbing uh, signatures from my clients, sharing my contracts. I'm like, hey, I would like for you to sign this contract if we're going to be working together. If you want me to come on your team and be as your, be your virtual assistant, you should share with me your signature on this contract. It does have a 30-day free trial period, but I'm hoping in 30 days you get to work with the client and then later on you can sign up for their pricing and their plans and say, hey, does this fit within my budget? If it doesn't fit, well and good. If it does, it's a very, very good tool and I would highly recommend it for a virtual assistant who is looking to like share their contracts. It makes everything very seamless because remember, your clients are on the other side of the world. You're not going to run into their office and say, hey, I would like for you to sign this. No. But with Dropbox Sign, you can grab their signature on contracts. And remember, a contract is very, very important. That's a whole video that I will make, but a contract is very, very important for you as a virtual assistant. Don't work for anybody if they haven't given you a contract. It helps to bind both of you. It's an agreement that you're actually going to pursue this person's work and get it done, and also they are going to pay you. So, yeah, I hope this helps someone. Check out Dropbox Sign, and the next tool we're going to talk about is Indie. That's what I use. Now, Indie is one of those tools that helps you have everything in one place, especially for you as a virtual assistant or someone aspiring to be a V. It will help you a lot, but this is a tool I recommend when your virtual assistant business has started getting a couple of coins. But just to let you guys know what the features are, like you can have your calendar linked to your Indie portal, can share contracts and get them signed within Indie. You can upload particular files for your client. You can even have onboarding forms in there, invoices, everything for people in Kenya or countries that have PayPal. You can get paid, share an invoice, link your Indie to your PayPal and get paid. You can also share a proposal with a client and say, hey, we had a discovery call and I'm proposing this rent for this particular job or this task that you'd like for me to do. You can even track your tasks in there with the time tracker and also note them down and say, I worked with you for this particular period of time and this is how much uh, I'm going to invoice you. Like it's all synced together in one place. It's a very, very good tool. It does have a cost to it. And that's why I'm saying when you start working, I would advise that this is something you sign up for. It's a very good platform for the self-employed girlies and, and boys because as a virtual assistant, you are self-employed, you're running your own business. So it helps a lot. And it also has tools. If you want to send a contract and you're a virtual assistant, it has tools for that. Your graphics designer, it has tools for that. Like it's very, very detailed, especially for self-employed people and people working remotely around the world so check it out today i don't know why indeed it didn't sponsor this video but next time we'll work on that because this is the tool i use the pricing is around 20 to 25 dollars i'm not very certain i don't want to click the pricing part because my little bubble is going to disappear but just search in we are indie.com and it will come up and remember if you're starting out it does have a free version that you can use but with time because it caps it Mm, you will feel like I want to upgrade. But if you don't have the money yet, please go out and check out free tools. But it's one of those tools that can help you to run your business very, very smoothly when you have gained enough revenue. So I hope this helps someone. This is going to be the end of this particular YouTube video. There are a number of tools and systems that you should know as a virtual assistant. And I'm going to create a list of them. And you can sign up for my newsletter. When you sign up for my newsletter, you will receive all those tools. And in my next video or whenever I make another video in regards to those tools, you'll be the first to know. All right. Bye.